Hello and welcome, I am Scarberlock and this is City of Heroes on the Rebirth server. We're with our stalker, Tiger Strike, who's level 13 with 28,000 experience, 6,000 experience to go to level 14, 44,000 information on our way to 800,000, even though we should be at like 90 because I wasted a bunch trying to use the auction house. Our item is still for sale. That sells for a million, or has been selling for a million the last five times it's sold. I put it up for 100,000. Still hasn't been bought, so I don't know what's going on with that. We are with Seer1381, and here we are with another really annoying, bad, bad, badly designed aspect of the game. This Seer cannot be called until you do missions for her. And she is up on top of a skyscraper, and as far as I can tell, there is no effing way into this skyscraper to come up here. I tried the doors downstairs, over here. I tried them on the other side of the building. There's no way to get up here without flight. Now, fortunately, we have this silly temporary power. But this bad design, everybody who doesn't, who has super speed can't get up to this character? That's just ridiculous. We should have a way to get up here. That's just really annoying. And again, I repeat, you should be able to run up the sides of the building with super speed. Just, ugh. One of the things that always frustrated me about this game. Okay, so the seer standing before you is different from the others. She's lacking her mask, a glazed look in her eyes, but you can, but you can clearly see a bead of sweat rolling from her forehead down her cheek. She appears to be concentrating intensely on something. She says, "Please, I need your help. I have seen the thoughts of others. You are a good person in their eyes." That is why I need your help. Help me, Tiger Shrike. Please help me. Okay? I feel like she's saying, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. She says, I'm trapped. If I concentrate as I am now, I can see what's trapping me. It's some sort of a signal in my head. No, it's nearby. Somewhere, the fourth gable's underground, very clean. Past the guards, there are some big glass tubes with numbers. My number is 1381. Turn left, please, before it pulls me back. Okay, so we have to go do a mission for her. So now we got to get down from the building. So I'm going to just try a little experiment here and see if I can go down this way. All right, so maybe this will tell me how you get up to here. Ah, you got to go in a side door. Okay, so I tried the front doors, but not the side door. All right, well, now I know. I figure there should be a way to get up here, but... Uh, yet again, annoying design. Why put her on top of a skyscraper? Alright, so when we go and we are trying to release her from the network. And this is one of the things of this game. You know, really cool new map, right? It's pretty awesome. It's a nice skin. It's a nice layout. It's better than the. It's more lab looking than the old labs. It's quite nice. But then they put you on this map over and over and over again to the point where you're just sick of it. Like, why don't you use some of the regular maps occasionally? But no, they decided with Praetoria that they were going to only use the new maps, and that meant that they didn't have. You know, they don't have that big of a library of these new maps. They have these labs, and they have the sewers and the newer offices and that's it so it's really cool to be like oh these they've got these new maps it's awesome and then after you get to 13th level you're like uh, this again you know i'm tired of it <laughs> so by the way i looked it up integration is not going to be available to us until level friggin 16 so we got to go three more levels with being stunned and knocked down and all of that kind of misery before we are able to stop that forever with our integration toggle, which is quite annoying. I know for a fact that Scrappers would have gotten this power by level 10. And so there's one negative to Stalkers. Hide is great, but I almost would rather take integration early and wait till level 16 for, to get Hide. Oh, one minute left. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. All right. I didn't realize that. We got to run through this really fast. I'm probably going to fail this mission. I wasn't I was busy talking and I didn't watch my time limit. All right, let's kill this thing really fast and I don't think 38 seconds or whatever is going to be enough. 
It just takes me too long to beat up minions now. Look at this. All right, super speed. And let's see if we can... We have one minute before the PPD arrives, but I don't really care about them. Because they can't see me. I'm, again, I'm not a fan of these like super rush missions. You gotta do it in a minute. Not a huge fan. Honestly, I really feel like whoever designed these missions needs to go back to mission school. That wasn't it. All right, let's try this one. And now I'm going to have to fight everybody in the entire place. I have no earthly idea how you're supposed to do this in a minute or two minutes or whatever they gave you. So now the PPD is here, and I'm going to have to fight everybody. And of course she summoned. I can only sigh at this, really. And I can't hit anything. Alright, let's try to crank up the inspirations. If I can get up. Just take everything I've got. I don't know if I'm even going to survive this, because I can't. Yeah, I'm stunned. Right, let's see if I can get out of here. Just try to get away from him. I don't know if I'm even hidden. Probably not. Okay, we're now hidden. They can't see me, and they're walking away. Okay. Now let's see if I can stay back here and try to do this. And maybe we can actually get her off the network without having to fight all these guys. Yeah, we're going to probably have to fight these guys. But I can assassinate her now. Come on, what's going on? Alright, so at least we got rid of her. God, this is worse than fighting Vajalox with my martial arts scrapper, I'll tell you. Oh, the constant knockdown. So frustrating. Who the heck is beating me up that bad? Alright, I have to run away again. Try to stay away from him. Okay, we're hidden again. Well, I guess I should rest first. Man, this is just ridiculous. Whoever designed these missions did not do a good job. Sorry, that's my opinion. At this point, I'm, I just want to like get out of here and go to Paragon City. I'm not enjoying the Praetorian missions at all. I... I thought I might like them better um, on the Resistance side than the Loyalist. I, I just don't like these mission designs. I just don't like the way they've designed them. They're really annoying. The tasks that they set for you are much more annoying than the ones in the base game. So, and see, again, find mission exit. So we can't just leave. Now i got to run through all this crap. And thank goodness we have hide, or we'd have to fight our way out of all this crap. And you might be saying, well, and this is what statesmen would say, dude, you're not even playing the game. You're supposed to fight everybody. Yeah, but this is a really boring, annoying mission. It's not fun. And I'm getting really irritated by the lack of integration, which is just frustrating me. And um, these guys have way more secondary effects than the base game villains do. I mean, the base game villains have some, but at 13th level, the Vajalox don't have secondary effects other than a little bit of slow. 
they don't knock you down. Um, the loss sometimes will stun you a little bit, and the buckshots may knock you down, but it's not to this level where every single minion, every single lieutenant seems to have a, uh, a damn secondary effect. That's just, uh. I don't know, it's like they designed this whole entire experience to be as annoying as possible instead of fun. Alright, so she says, I'm old. How did I get so old? Where is she? Where is the woman who showed me the door? The door out of my dream. Tiger Shrike, I have touched the minds of so many people during my time as a seer, but I could never really know them. I'm glad we met, because I consider you to be my first best friend. Pretty cool, huh? What year is it? I'm so confused. So I give her the year. And she says, I'm 30 years old, but no. I, where's my family? Where's my dad? Why didn't he come find me? P please help me find my family. I'm so scared. Um, okay. Oh, we have an endurance reducer. Do I need that on anything? Not really. A salvage? No. This is really annoying. Now we have all these enhancement converters. At least on Homecoming, I can sell them. Here, I'm just going to be collecting them for no good reason. I've never had to use one. I have no need for them. All right, so now we have to search the PPD archives to see where her family is. Gosh, and you compare, like my scrapper I was at this level I every other mission I was turning off the XP so that I didn't out level the story arcs here it's like if I could get XP boosted to get the hell out of Praetoria I totally would do it even if it leaves me behind on inf information just because I I don't like this side of the game the design is very pretty and it's just not fun I'm, I'm just not really like I love playing the the stalker don't get me wrong but I don't like these story arcs So, I, I don't like the whole, you've got two minutes to do something, ambush is constantly coming at you. I, I just, I don't know, I don't find that fun. I feel like, you know, that's not the way City of Heroes used to play. And now what? Oh, we gotta go upstairs. I'm terrible at steering with super speed, as you can see. Yeah, we're going to have to fight our way out, I'm sure. Here we go. I'm not going to be able to ambush these guys either. Here we go. Find the mission exit. And I wonder if Hyde is going to work on any of the guys on the way out or we're just going to have to fight our way out. We'll see. One advantage we have is super speed. They cannot keep up with me if I can keep super speed up. They simply can't. But it does go down when um, when you get into combat. So we'll just have to see. Let's hide. And see if we can head out. Yeah, the ambush is going to see me, but I don't know if the rest of the guys will see me. Yeah, the rest of the guys don't see me. So how many missions is it now that we've had to run out the mission door instead of just getting the mission complete and clicking the button? It's this kind of design that I mean when I say I find this stuff just annoying. Okay, at least we have our phone number. We don't gotta, We don't have to run up to the skyscraper anymore. 
That's right, Kate. Everyone used to call me Kate. It's been so long since anyone said my name. Weird, huh? So, you found out where my dad is. Tiger Shrike, you've changed my life forever. If I can do anything for you, let me know. Available missions. Now she says, my father is in jail. What did he do? What did I do? This isn't fair. What's happening to me? I just want to see my dad, so we got to go rescue her father from jail. Rescue him from the bath. Bath is the jail, I guess. It's like their ziggurat. Yeah, I don't really know what bath is. Not up on the lore of Praetoria. And at this point, I'm not going to try to be. So now I gotta get up there again. Okay. Now I gotta look for the side door. Can't enter. Okay. Can't enter. Can't enter. So this is this is what what I'm talking about. So how am I supposed to get up there? Alright, there we go. I'm going up there to go down, I bet. Why are we talking to her? Why? I thought I was supposed to rescue her. What the heck? I've been recalling a lot of training. Blah, blah, blah. All I need to know is where I'm sending you, and I should be able to just, I don't know, put you there in the blink of an eye. Now, picture the bath clearly, and I'll teleport you there. Okay, we enter the mission. Alright, guys. Yeah, back to a lab. I thought this was a prison. You see what I mean? They couldn't even bother to make a prison map. I mean, we know we know they have them from the non-Praetoria parts. Right? So why not make this be an actual jail instead of just being a lab? Right? So, I don't know. I'm not, I'm definitely not feeling these Praetorian stories. That's for sure. Or the mission design. Of course, it's not helping that I have to play this character with nothing in her slots because I screwed up at the auction house. But, is that him? No, that's just a regular prisoner. I guess. It's not the guy we're looking for, I don't think. That's nice getting two crits. So got some salvage. So we have to escape with him, which means we've got to beat up people on the way in because we're going to have to pass them on the way out. There's no shortcutting this mission. Not having integration is incredibly sucktastic on this character. <laughs> incredibly frustrating to me. I do not like being mezzed. And my favorite thing about being a scrapper is that you can't be mezzed pretty much, starting at level 10. And tankers are around the same level. And this constant knockdown. I mean, just like literally every single minion is doing it to me. It's really annoying. Or they're stunning me. Or whatever. Ugh. And the constant missing, too, is really annoying. 
That I did to myself. I can't really blame anybody else. Well, that and the fact that their random number generator seems to be very, uh, um, what's the word? Auto-correlated. Let's look at the missing I did here. Missed him, rolled a 84, missed him, rolled a 92. Yeah, I have a 76% chance to hit. That's because the slots are mostly bare. So there's nothing we can do about that. We're just going to have to live with the misses. I know I said I was going to stock up on yellow pills, but I haven't really been buying inspirations at all. I've just been going with what I get. You know what I mean? Whatever drops. We don't need the endurance, so I'll just suck it down to make room on the tray so that I can maybe get some more of what I do need. So yeah, there's no point to like rushing through this because I gotta kill everybody on the way in. Yeah, I feel like one of the things that happened as they um, as they develop missions is they lost the sense of what's the right number of spawns or minions or whatever the right number of enemy mobs per um, you know per level or whatever of the mission. And with these things, it's just insane how many mobs and how close they are to each other. And you're fighting 25% more than you would in a base game vanilla mission because the, all the spawns, as you've seen, are three minion, four minions instead of three. So that immediately means, you know, if there's, say, 12 spawns in a mission, you're going to be fighting 12 more guys. It's like fighting an extra four spawns, right? And then they put the spawns really close to each other in these big rooms. And there's just an insane number of spawns. I mean, what is this, the fourth spawn in this room? Right? And m several of them have been... and they, I think they've all been four-man spawns. So, what is that, like 16, 20 villains in one room? One room. I mean, that's just... You did not often see that in the base game unless you were talking about one of these caves where the room that you're in is almost the whole cave you know and there's like three floors to it but something like this you really didn't see very often in the base game and I just prefer that setup better than this I mean, it makes sense in a room like this to have a couple sets of guards, but what was this, four or five sets of guards? It's just nuts. Is that everybody now? Okay. <clears throat> Is this him? No. It's just another random prisoner. Well, I guess at level 14, guys, we're going to get build up. At least that means that we will be able to do a lot more damage to lieutenants and take them out in a single shot. Look at this. My god. It's just a lieutenant. Holy crap. All right, I don't think we need to go over there. So this is the prison. Is that him? 
All right, let's make sure we hit. I don't think I appreciate, um, oh, I'm going to have to turn off hide now. See, here we go. I don't think I truly appreciate the wonderfulness of super reflexes until I play a character like this who gets hit every single time they attack. And every time there's a mez, it's going to hit because she doesn't dodge and that's the huge value of super reflexes even before you've got mez defense if they can't hit you they can't put a secondary mez effect on you and with um, regeneration there's no dodging so you're just gonna get hit every single time and you can heal the damage but you can't prevent the mez until you get integration yeah I'm harping on that because I really want it the other thing I don't like about leading NPCs like this out is I, ha I can't turn on super speed. I have to run at, at the slowest possible pace because they can't keep up with you otherwise. Even running this slowly, I have to keep stopping and waiting for him because he gets caught on the corners. Now, was there an ambush, guys? Was there any reason why we needed to walk him all the way out here? No. And that's why I'm not a fan of these newer missions. I prefer the old ones where you would rescue the hostage and that just be the end of the mission. All right, so the PPD is closing in on me and Henry Douglas for all directions. We were starting to wonder if Kate could really teleport us, but she did. And he realizes that, that she's his daughter. Okay. We talk to her and she says, ow, 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 massive headache. I'm okay, I'm okay. I think teleporting, the teleporting did it, man. I need to really be careful with my powers. That hurt bad. And here's the finale, so let's just go ahead and, I know it's a bit long of an episode, but let's just go ahead and finish this uh, story arc. She says, Dad's okay, Tiger Shrike. But he said they took Mom and me 15 years ago, and this is the first he'd seen or heard of either of us since Tiger Shrike. I know where my mom is, at least I think I do. Can you help me find her? Yes. So she says, while you were in the BAF, I was thinking a lot. Remember that lady in my dream, Tiger Shrike, the one who opened the doors for me to leave? I, The one who was talking about her after, I, and I was talking about her after you freed me? That was her. That was my mom. I couldn't see her. But now I know for sure it was her. Um, don't you see, Tiger Shrike, if I'm psychic and my dad isn't, then this means that my mom must be psychic. She's a seer. This is the key, Tiger Shrike. The door. When the door in my dream closed, she was on the other side. I know where to find her. So we've got to help her find her mom. And we're going to enter the mission. And don't tell me I'm going to have to escort this seer around. Am I? Yep. Oh, God. Uh, I, you know, these Praetorian missions cannot be over fast enough. I can't believe I have seven more levels to go with this crap. Now I have to escort her through this. Uh, which means I can't hide, which means I can't be a stalker. That is so annoying. she gonna at least help me yeah okay well at least she's helping me we'll see if she's completely useless or what every single one of these minions knocks you down how's she doing she's all right Found a recipe. Got some salvage. Yeah, we should be able to do some selling. Alright, I'm putting hide on. I don't care if she can't see me. 
she doesn't help enough for me to worry about that. If they kill her, they kill her. I don't care. I can't. I can't deal with it. I, I just, I can't. With the NPCs, I just can't. I'm done. I'm just gonna kill these guys. And if they defeat her, they defeat her. I just don't care. <laughs> Alright. See, she's gonna run off and aggro somebody else now. I don't know. There's nobody in there. Yeah, they have no qualms about aggroing you. She seems to be able to follow me with it, with hide on, so I'll just leave it on. Okay. She may be behind this open door. No. Yeah, it's not like she's gonna wait for me to attack or anything. She just starts attacking and drawing aggro. And you know, I don't have taunt on this character. I have a reverse taunt, a placate that I can get next level, but I don't have a taunt. So if she pulls too much aggro, I cannot help her. At least she's giving them some of that secondary effect stuff that I've had to face. Oh my gosh. These missions are so big. Just big empty rooms. Stunned, of course, yeah. Okay. Next set of enemies. It's going to be interesting to see if I actually get to level 20 before we get out of these story arcs. I don't know if I might have to do some street sweeping because I don't know if it's level based or if it's story arc based or what. I was level, I believe, 20 or 21 when my other character, my controller, managed to get out of Praetoria. Um, I didn't mind it that much because I was doing it with a friend. But I absolutely detest these stories, and I don't like these missions. And now they're going to kill her, right? Because I have no way to save her, and I miss the assassin strike, and I can't hit this guy. So now three of them are attacking her. I cannot draw aggro, and they're going to absolutely wipe her out. Yep, she's about to be defeated. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't, I can't pull aggro like a tanker. So, unless they've got it keyed somehow so that she can't be defeated or something, there's nothing I can do about it, especially when I can't hit. So. Man, look at this guy. He's still alive. How many swings did it take to take him out? It must have been ten. Because I must have missed him like seven times. Well, I'm not waiting for you, honey. If you die, you die. I'm not going to wait for you to heal up. Let's do some extra damage. I'm just trying to see if she's... Yeah, she seems like she's alright. She's lucky I do as much damage as I do. Oh my gosh, even with the yellow inspiration going, I missed twice. In a row. Oh, somebody following me? Oh no, she's just hurt. Alright, let's keep going. I mean, there's no question that she's going to be in the very last... Um, whatever the last possible room is. 
She absolutely will be in there. Let's just go ahead and use that. Oh, I can't kill anything now. Just takes so many hits. Sorry about the beeping, guys. That's just a friend of mine sending some chats through, which I'm not looking at because I'm playing this. How much bigger is this? Oh my gosh, we're going to have to go all the way to the end of this, aren't we? And of course, aggroing before I'm ready. Just like a good teammate. Um... Yeah, I remember somebody, I can't remember who said this, because the developers, of course, program these NPCs to act like idiots, I remember somebody saying, I would never want to be on a pickup group with the developers. If this is how they think people should play, I don't want to play with them. I can't remember who said that. It was a friend of mine. He was like, no. If this is how they think people want to play with each other on a team, I don't want any part of it. It was really funny. Okay. Still no idea where she is. See, again I got a loot drop from doing that. Oh, we got an accuracy. Let's let's stop for a sec as soon as we can and put that in. That is awesome. Okay, is there anybody around here? I see a boss. So this must be the end of the mission. Seer 1, that must be her mother. First though, Let's open our enhancement screen. And. Oh gosh. So, what do we want to put accuracy on? I guess we want to put it actually on Assassin's Claw. And let's put extra damage on Assassin's Claw. And we can put another accuracy on Strike here and just do the best we can with this. At least for now. So this is a boss. Is she by herself? She appears to be. We do have some help. How did that get interrupted? Alright, well at least we did a nice assassin strike on it. And that was her mother. She's gone again, we have to deal with this, and now we're going to be fighting these guys. Oh, okay, so the boss is just coming in and out. Okay, we're ignoring her assistant, I'm just going to fight her. While the inspirations last. Got her. Alright. Mission complete. I'm just going to head out. Got some reward merits. And we should be pretty close to level 14 now. I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're pretty close. A couple beads. Mission complete. Oh, look at that. We're only one bead away, guys. Half a bead. Oh, not even. A third of a bead. So, Tiger Strike, it's okay. I'm all right. My mom, she she was already gone. She was gone a long time ago. I understand that now. Her last act of love was to free me from the network, but I misinterpreted it as a call for help. She didn't close that door in my mind to show where she was. She didn't try to keep me away. And then she says, my mother was trying to tell me the time is precious, and that we never know when it's our, when we're when it's going to be when it's going to be run out or taken from us. Tiger Shrike, I sacrificed half my life just because I was born different from other people. Every seer in the city 
is forced to do the same. Help me put an end to this madness. So yeah, we will do that. That's a single player storyline, but we're not going to do that now because we've been playing long enough. I am Scrapperlock, and this has been City of Heroes Rebirth, and I'll be back with another episode in the near future.